This video lesson is about changing fractions to lowest terms. So fractions has a numerator and a denominator. So numerator is located above or top of the fractions, while the denominator is located at the bottom or below of the fractions. So the two steps on changing fractions to lowest term is first, find the GCF of the two numbers. And last, divide the numerator and denominator with their GCF. Take note, if a fraction is already in its lowest term, either or both numbers are prime numbers. Prime numbers are numbers that has only two factors. So let's try an example. So I have here 8 over 10. So the first step is to find the GCF of the two numbers. If you want to know how to find the GCF, click on the suggested video above on this video. So the factors of 8 is 1, 2, 4, and 8. Well, 10, the factors are 1, 2, 5, and 10. So to get the GCF, uh, in this video, I'm using the listing uh, method to find the GCF. So the GCF of this example is 2. So the GCF of 8 and, o and 10 is 2. So we have already the GCF, so let's proceed to step 2. Divide the numerator and denominator with their GCF. So a while ago, we have a GCF 2. So we're going to divide it by writing 2 over 2. So let's divide. 8 divided by 2, it is equal to 4. And 10 divided by 2, it will give you a 5. So the lowest term of 8 over 10 is 4 over 5 or 4 fifth. So let's try another example. So I have here 3 over 18. So first, find the GCF of the two numbers. So I'm going to use the listing method to find the GCF. So the GCF of so the factors of 3 is 1 and 3. While the factors of 18 is 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. But we need the greatest common factors. So we're going to find the greatest common on, e, on 3 and 18. So the number are, the number is 3. So the GCF is 3. So let's proceed to the step 2. Divide the numerator and denominator with their GCF. So our GCF is 3. So we're going to divide 3 over 3. So 3 divided by 3, it will give you a 1. And 18 divided by 3, it will give you a 6. So that the lowest term of 3 over 18 is 1 over 6. So let's try another. Find the GCF of the two numbers. Again, we have two numbers, 30 and 50. So we all list the factors of 30 and 50. So I have here 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 10, and 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, and 50. So can you guess what is the greatest common factor on of the two numbers? Okay, that's right. It's number 10. So the GCF of 30 and 50 is 10. So let's proceed to step 2. Divide the num numerator and denominator with their GCF. So our GCF is 6, 
10. And we're going to divide it by 10. Can you guess? 30 divided by 10. Can you guess the answer? And 50 divided by 10. Okay, it will give you a 3 over 5. So the lowest term of 30 and 50 is... 30 over 50 is... 3 over 5. Okay, example number 4. So I have here 12 and 16 and also I'll give you the factors of 12 and 16 and can you guess the GCF of the two numbers? Can you guess the greatest common factor of 12 and 16? Okay, that's right. That's number four. So the GCF of 12 and 16 is four. So we're going to divide it by four over four. So 12 divided by four, it will give you what number? And 16 divide, divided by four, what number will be? Okay, that's right, 3 over 4. So the lowest term of 12 over 16 is 3 fourths. Okay, last number or last example. So find the GCF of the two numbers, 15 and 20. So I have here the factors. Can you guess the greatest common factor? That's correct. Number 5. So the GCF of 15 and 20 is 5. So we're going to divide the numerator and denominator with the GCF 5. So can you guess the answer? I'll give you a 10 seconds to find the lowest term of 15 and 20. by dividing the numerator and denominator with their GCF. Okay, that's right. 3 and 4 or 3 over 4. So the lowest term of 15 and 20 is 3 over 4. That's all. Thank you.